Welcome back. Police say criminals will do anything to get rid of evidence. But for the past 16 years, that hasn't deterred investigators from trying to solve a gruesome murder. Let's go to Elizabeth Espinosa for more. Hi. Ladies, detectives believe the woman lived in the Tahunga area. She was murdered in a separate location, though, before being dumped, set on fire in a remote area. Any reason to believe because of footprints that there were two people that dragged her body over? It's hard to say. It could have been one or several. LAPD detective Amador says no one deserves to die this way. They dragged this young lady about 45 feet to somewhere around here. Yeah. And then they set her on fire. She's referred to as Jane Doe until someone identifies her. The woman is described as a Latina with light complexion, 19 to 25 years old, about 5 foot 6, 130 pounds. Investigators say she was strangled. Her body dumped here off Latuna Canyon Road next to the 210 freeway. It happened 16 years ago on August 7th, 1994. Somehow she was able to help save half of her face. That part didn't get burned, and that's how we were just come up with this composite. Investigators say she was wearing this gold necklace and charm, hoop earrings, two rings, and this floral blouse. According to a witness, a white Dodge Intrepid was seen leaving the area after the fire was set. Even though it's been 16 years, sometimes time is our biggest ally. Detective Amador insists someone knows her. She will be identified, and her killer or killers will be caught. Hopefully we can uh, bring some kind of closure to somebody because it's 16 years later and they're probably wondering the family is what happened to our daughter, our sister. And remember, Crime Stoppers is an anonymous tip line, so please make your call to 1-800-222-TIPS. You can text them as well, and you can also send an email to lacrimestoppers.org and also link up to them through our website, ktla.com. We do want to share with you that autopsy results in this case show that the woman was childless, and investigators say they can't identify her through dental records because there are none, which leads them to believe she may have been here undocumented, but they remain very hopeful that she will be identified. That is the very latest. Back to you.